everybody, my name is Rob and welcome to Mel Monthly. Uh, if you're new here, first of all, welcome. Great to have you here. Second of all, what we do here is we talk about everything that's been going on in metal music over the past month. Album releases, fun stories, a bunch of stuff like that. It's a bit chill, I have a beer, we have some fun. It's good, I promise. First of all, album releases. What albums were released last month? First of all, a day to remember, you're welcome. Uh, this album has been getting quite a lot of bad criticism recently, I think because it doesn't sound a lot like A Day to Remember, it's a very new, different album. Uh, I read a review that said if you didn't know who it was, there are some songs that you would confuse with Imagine Dragons, and it is actually true. There are two or three songs on there that have that classic A Day to Remember sound, and they, unsurprisingly, are the best songs. I don't remember the next bit of the script. Overall, the album is pretty good, but just don't go into it expecting 14 songs sounding like all I want. Um, 6 out of 10. Am I doing that now? Am I giving albums, like, number reviews? Oh, who cares? 6 out of 10. Next up, Surge Tankian, Elasticity. Now, this is an EP, and I don't normally cover EPs in these videos, but it's Surge Tankian. Of course I'm going to cover it. It's Surge Bloody Tankian. Um, this is awesome. It's very Surge Tankian. It is very politically motivated, but also tongue-in-cheek, very silly humour. Um, it's fantastic. The first song is called Your Mum, but it's actually about terrorism. <laughs> it's incredible. It's not exactly System of a Down, but it's probably the closest you're going to get for quite a while. And it is really good. Uh, 8 out of 10. Screw it. Surge Tankian is never going to do anything that's less than 8 out of 10, let's face it. Next up, Demon Hunter, Songs of Death and Resurrection. I was so excited for this album. Never heard of this band before, but with a name like that and an album name like that, yes, I was hyped. I listened to it and that hype went away quite quickly. All the songs are very much slow, light rock music. So I looked into it and it's a Christian metal band. And do you know what, as a rule, I have nothing really against Christian metal bands. I am sure there are some Christian metal bands that are really good. This is not one of them. What I have an issue with is the flagrant false advertising that this band gave me. With a band name like that, an album name like that, and with song names like My Throat is an Open Grave, The Heart of a Graveyard, and Blood in the Tears, I don't think it was unreasonable to expect that this band was pretty heavy. And they're not. Next up, I Hate God, A History of Nomadic Behaviour. This is a heavy album. The songs are quite slow and grungy, it kind of sounds like Black Sabbath in some places. Um, some of it is a little bit faster, but it's generally quite grungy music. The album is certainly more atmospheric than it is musical, but it's definitely worth checking out, I think. And finally, Necronomicon, the final chapter. This German thrash metal band has been around since the 80s and has never gotten the credit they deserve. And now, with their newest album, The Final Chapter, which I'm pretty sure is not going to be their final album, but I mean, let's wait and see. This is a really good thrash album. Really enjoyed it. I mean, it's, it's thrash. What really do you want from it? It's loud, it's heavy, it's fast, it's German. <laughs> if you like thrash music, check it out. If you're not already a fan of this band, you should be. Next up, we have Musician Deaths. Every month, I think it's just right to honor the metal musicians who have passed away over the past four weeks. At the time of recording, there have been four metal musicians who have passed away in March. On March 7th, Lars Goran Petrov, vocalist of Entombed AD, passed away. On March 8th, Adrian Burra, guitarist of Cargo, passed away. On March 14th, Jerry Miller, former editor of the metal magazine Metal Edge, passed away. And on March 17th, Corey Steger, former guitarist of Under Oath, passed away. So obviously condolences to all of their families. And now finally, onto something a little bit more fun. These are fun stories. These are some fun metal-themed stories from last month. First up, Geezer Butler claims to have actually invented devil horns, not Dio, as is the popular story. Now, obviously, this was a massive, huge story for a few hours until he went on Twitter and backtracked and said that he didn't say that, and actually all he really meant was that he also did devil horns on stage with Dio back in the 70s, which is less of an interesting story. So really, we can't trust anything Geezer Butler says in the future. I mean, in the interview, he even said that Devil Horns was a really old hand gesture, and that even John Lennon is doing it on the back cover of the Yellow Submarine album. And that's just... Oh. Uh... Uh... I don't... Um... Sorry, that's really throwing me. Um, what's next? Yes, okay, so in America, Congress has made a move to ban heavy metals in baby food. No, wait, that's, that's not, that's, that's relevant, that's... 
Okay, okay, I'm back. Everything's sorted. Okay, so the final story is that Mr. Tumble, the CBeebies presenter, has recreated a Black Sabbath album cover. What? No. What? <laughs> Yes, okay, this is actually true. A Twitter user called Scott Colathan was watching an old episode of Something Special, Mr. Tumble's TV show, and noticed a specific shot in the show. This one. This shot shows Mr. Tumble outside the Maple Durham Mill in Oxford. Okay, so what's weird about that? Well, this location was used by Black Sabbath for the album cover of their debut album. It looks like this. I mean, I would say that it's a coincidence, but look, he's even stood in the same place. So yes, Mr. Tumble is a metalhead, confirmed. <laughs> okay, that's all for me. I really hope you've enjoyed this video of all of the metal news and stories. If you have, please do hit like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Follow me on the social medias, at OverageKid. My name is Rob, and I will see you next month.